This is why. And uh, kidneys probably just start spasming and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Your feet swelled, which is your kidneys. I had periods of numbness in my feet and hands. Yeah, this guy really, I mean, that really was a, just think, just chickpeas. Guzong, gobanzo, just shock the body. Shows you the vibrational frequency, how crap this stuff is. <coughs> you shouldn't, if the food's good for you, you should be able to break a fast with it and not hurt yourself. I noticed they have lots of cysts under my, now this is important, man. There's a lot of cysts under the skin across his back, shoulders, neck, and arms. Uh, one in my hand and one on my eyelid. Uh, uh, uh. Let me see, heaven and the earth, let's get this out of here. Uh, during fasting, a couple of boils popped up on my back. Boy, your limb system is a mess, son. Which I am certainly where two of the cysts. I have been eating raw and cleaning my body, but my right kidney, there they go. A, this is where you have major kidney issues, and that's why when you took that fast and you broke with that, you majorly shocked the kidneys. You went into maybe even a little kidney failure just for a minute. That's why you're swelled right up. I'm telling you, it's all about the kidneys, and all this cysts and stuff prove this. And what does this mean? What causes all these cysts? What system are we in when we're talking about cysts and boils and things? Talking about the lymph, but truly interstitial because a lot of these cysts and boils have blood in it, right? So that is interstitial fluid. 75% lymph, 25% blood. You see that in juicy pimples uh, and boils and things like that. So it's interstitial. Well, why would your interstitial fluid back up on you? Some blockage somewhere? Common sense. Well, the blockage in our opinion and what we teach is the kidneys. Well, listen to this. You've got right kidney pain. Now, medical doctors wouldn't even look at that. And it's like, no, 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 no. This guy gives you a nice layout of everything. Is this a guy or a girl? I don't know. But just all, I gave a nice layout here of what's going on with them. And their kidneys, their kidneys are letting them know it hurts. Uh, so, uh, yeah, not so good stuff. Well, don't be confused, man. It's just these kind of foods are not healthy foods. Now, at, one, at, at, at a level, at, at a level... They're considered better, better than a hamburger, okay, at a level. But we are at the top level right now, and those top levels don't have hummus on the, on the menu. I don't know. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it when you're, when you're not detoxifying. When you're going down through your lives and you want a little balance because of the consciousness of the cells and society and your emotions and everything, okay. But when you're fasting and high up here, our clients prove this all the time. When they, when they start eating bad and down on the lower scale of food, their body knocks them up for that, kick, kicks their butt. Don't want people to hurt themselves here. I have to give a shout out to uh, uh, Funk It Up. Yeah, you're the one that said this. Funk It Up Yo 62. I like that. You know, sometimes I like these words run together. You know, gotta, funk it up. You got to work on them. I got to, yeah. Uh, I, I just want to thank you, Ryan, 31 from Australia. I just want to thank you uh, for, for taking your time out and getting, your, getting yourself uh, in good shape here. Um, thank you so much, Ryan, and I am pleased to be able to help you in any way I can. It, it's uh, my privilege to do this. I'm, I'm honored to do this. I... I, uh, I was sent here to do this, so I'm honored that uh, you, ooh, this is a pretty eye. Look at these eyes. Wow. Who sent this one? All right. Is this Nathan's? This is Nat, N-A-T-E, Nate, Nate. Uh, Nathan Thomas, let me see, uh, like everyone else watching, I am very great. Oh, thanks. Thanks so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you guys appreciating this. My, and this makes me love you more. <laughs> I'm wondering why I'm usually the only one amongst many who get a beat red face when uh, participating in sports, exercise, or anything else. Hmm, my face gets heated and goes red and starts, stays red for 20 to 30 minutes afterwards. If I had to guess, I would assume it has something to do with congested lymph in my head area. That's possible. That's real possible. Uh, we know heat is acidic. Yeah, that's the thing. You might even look at the thyroid there, see if you're not uh, getting too hot, you know, when you do these things. I know I get extremely hot, and so that is possible. I don't think it's a poor circulation issue at all. 
Uh, it'd have to do with hormones and steroids there. But I think if you go out and get your body healthy, you'll be okay here. Uh, let me see. I don't want to tie up any more of your time. You're not. You're not. Listen, Nate, thank you for your, your, your uh, thing. I just continue to detoxify my body. Use the circulation for me just for the fun of it. But I check my thyroid. Check your basals under your arms. You might be running a little too hot, too much activity, maybe even kicks up the pituitary, but then kicks up the thyroid. Uh, good detoxifying, getting all this uh, lymph out, all these acids out, which so promotes more heat. Get all that out, and I think you're right on there. I don't know whose eyes does this belong to. Thanks, Nate. Um, I find a great number of folks in pain and suffering without remedy for mainstream medicine take heart when I tell them fruits and herbs is the on the ramp to the interstate that leads from to health restoration. Who is this? Indiana Banana, David. You got it right on, my friend. How are you? Uh, you got this right down. Um, Indiana Banana, David R. Wood, a DS, Certified Detoxication Specialist. Love it. Whose eyes are these? Let me see. I have attached photos. This must be uh, Jimmy from Sweden. Looks like a Swedish eye. Take a look at this, guys. Is this pretty? That is a pretty eye. Can you see in that? Is that showing the eye pretty good if I hold it like that? What do you think? Yeah, it's coming in good. Is it? Yeah. And I'm talking to Roger, our new uh, counselor here. Um, thanks, Jimmy, for your comments here. I have attached photos of my eyes and would love if you would comment on them. Uh, they're taken in different lights, and the darker one shows my issues more clearly. Uh, I have been high raw vegan for two years. Good job. And I've been on fruits and berries for four months. Good job, man. Now i just come off a three-week juice fast. Man, this guy's kicking it up. I used to have IBS, but all symptoms went away one and a half year ago after putting a lot of energy and cleaning my colon. You know, we the people, have I heard that somewhere? <laughs> we the people have proved all of this over and over and over again. And you know, it's so funny. We still have people come up and say, well, where have you been? This should be in the public's eye. Of course it should. And it's getting there. Uh, a lot of work from you guys and the help with all of us holding together as working as one. We're going to make a difference. I still suffer a lot from dry skin, dandruff. So dandruff means you're not moving your lymph. And I look at your eyes and got a lot of lymph upstairs, particularly in the sinus area. So that was going to create dandruff when it's not coming down through the kidneys. Although I look at this. Now, I don't know all oh, right eye and left eye. Uh, da, 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 chronic uh, fatigue symptoms, itchy skin, etc. I have been uh, reading up on iridology and looking at my eyes. I suspect I need to work hard on my lymph because I have those lymph clouds. Yeah, yeah, you're right on. Your lymph nodes are swollen. You, know, you notice all that around? I'll show you here in a minute. I am taking herbs for kidneys, lymph. Oh, good, good job. Thyroid and a couple uh, of more ones and have been about a month. I have sediment in the urine. This is good. And after I've been juicing, fasting, so things are happening. Yeah, good job. If you can share some time, I sure would. Jimmy from uh, Switzerland, I surely would. Uh, all these little clumps are all in his lymph node, are all in the lymph node arena of the eye. So his lymph nodes have been swollen for a while. There's a little yellowish hue, and I don't think this is sulfur. I think this is subacute levels. You have some traces of sulfur here. But I'm thinking looking at more at subacute levels of, of congestion. So that means your lymph nodes have been swollen probably most of your life. Uh, looking at the right eye here, little, little weakness down that right leg, particularly at the femur, the knees there, but nothing major that you can't redo. The adrenal glands... Probably subacute, but very heavy lymph around them. So what you have to be careful with, when lymph saturates around tissue, that's when you start forming cysts and tumors. So that you really need to get that kidney open. The kidney's not that bad. You just need to get those adrenals cleaned out and channeling there. Have some nerve rings in there. That's of these little nerve rings, if you can see them here. These little nerve rings. That's your autonomic nervous system controlled by the adrenals. So how we can, this is like verify, verify, verify. All this white up here above the pupil, all this white up here is your sinuses. But you've got good genes, son. There's no question about that. He's got real good genes, don't he? He's got some gut. Yeah, there's some stomach. There's definitely some stomach issues with you. There's no question about that. Uh, I don't know what it is, uh, whether it's just a weakness in the stomach. If I had to say, you have some decay in your stomach. 
uh, maybe from just high acidosis. You have interstitial lymphatic constipation. And let's see if I can show you this. Am I, am I on the camera pretty good? Can you tell? You can bring it up as close as you want to. Can I? Down just to here. There we go. Now, that's this bow rim here. All this thick white in this bow ring, this collarate they call it, that goes around the pupil. The GI tract is from this outer rim into the pupil. Now, you see all this darkness? You see all this darkness immediately around the pupil? That's your stomach. And... Uh, it's a little too dark for my book. So either you've had some hydrochloric acid burn, so I'm going to go over to the pancreas. And that was the one thing I was going to look at here is his pancreas to see if he was having maybe a little bicarbonate problem and therefore some hydrochloric acid burn. Now, I really don't see that. I see a lot of lymph congestion around your pancreas. So be careful because, again, too much of that. Now, the right hip is a little bit of a problem here, probably one of your weaker areas that you have to deal with. But again, in your genetic line, that's been your, the, the, the inability to filter lymph and probably broke down that hip. Uh, gallbladder could be strengthened for sure. So, liver's in a lot of congestion, but... Yeah, let me see here. These yeah, that's bladder. So there's the bladder weakness, and that might take up for the kidney weaknesses, the bladder there. But pretty strong lad. A little throat, a little parathyroid maybe, but real strong. Here's a bronchial trunk weakness. You might want to get those lungs cleaned out in the bronchial trunk, a little bronchial trunk weakness there. But boy, I'm saying this, and you got major gene. got to fix your stomach up. you got to spend some time regenerating the stomach because uh, there is so much gastroparesis, which is uh, paralysis of the stomach. It's not even funny. And this is an eye walking that way, either that or stomach cancer or something. So you want to walk out of that. Now, it could be some kind of chemical, but I don't think so. It looks pretty dark tissue. So uh, you're malabsorbed, the bowel wall. Now, when I get to the left side, the throat, you got some weaknesses in the throat. And, and generally, you, it yields you a pretty good sore throat one of these days. And even if you lose your voice, don't worry about it. Keep detoxifying out. On, on, the, uh, on the left side, your kidneys are a little weaker. Your adrenals are about the same. And this is probably his knee, his uh, left knee. And then there's his kidneys right here, see? See how that comes down there like that? And then when I get over here on the bow wall, your descending bow, you've got some pocket ballooned areas on the descending side. This splenic fracture is prolapsed down a little bit. But again, getting your parathyroid up, and this could be you know, not throat at all. This could be total thyroid and parathyroid. Matter of fact, it looks more like thyroid and parathyroid than throat on this left side. See yeah. all that? When you when you map this out. So, if, and I would believe that, that having just a little thyroid and a little more parathyroid weakness, because you're seeing the prolapses here, the loss of connective tissue integrity. But a really strong eye, man. I love this eye. Really strong, really great. You know, you got some back issues, lower back, mid back. You know, classic stuff, but not not real heavy. I, this is a really good eye, and it's just uh, I, I, this is a, an eye that could grow a third set of teeth to get themselves straightened up. People will freak out on that, but someone wrote in here that they had a third set come in, a third tooth come in. That's pretty cool. I believe it. Yeah, totally. A little bit of nerve rings. A little bit of nerve rings, absolutely. So he's he's several generations down, Jimmy. He's several generations down with the adrenals and the. Those are. Excellent photos. Yeah. It'd be nice to know how they, oh, yeah. they were taken Oh, You might share with everybody how you got these photos because that is decent. If I could get these photos most of the time. Very good. I've been digging too much this morning. Ah. I want to try to get through most of this.